Hey guys, Monochrome here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Genuinely good to have you. Today we're taking a look at the Victorinox Swiss Card Lite. Now, Victorinox makes a handful of different Swiss Card models with different tools, different colors. We're going to look at this particular one in Ruby. Now, as you can see, the housing is translucent plastic. You can clearly see all the tools and items underneath. So, let's just get started right away. Here, on the very top, you have a ruler and it's on the other side as well. Inches, centimeters. Now, one of the things I don't like is that Victorinox claims that this credit card sized tool has 13 functions. But, well, I'll just say it. There's there's a little bit of BS in that claim, and you'll see why as I progress. But, okay, on top you have a ruler, centimeters, and again, inches. Now, the numbers are a little difficult to see. It works as a ruler, not completely ideal, though. Underneath that, we have a pen feature. Now, if this pen should run out of ink because you used it too often, good news, you can get a replacement for it from Victorinox. The disadvantage is well, due to the disadvantages, you're not likely to run out of ink anytime soon. This should be considered as an emergency pen. You definitely want to EDC a different pen as your main pen. Consider this an emergency pen, not because it's thin, not because it doesn't hold a ton of ink, it's a ballpoint. So it's not going to run out as quickly as a roller ball when it comes to ink. But the main issue is that this is painful to use. This little gray tab on top, that's what you use to hook your fingernail and pull it out of the card. The problem is this little gray tab is sharp as hell. I mean, seriously. If you hold the pen normally, it's going to dig into your flesh. And as you're applying even a little bit of pressure to jot down a quick memo, or sign your signature on a check. Yes, some of us still use checks. Or any sort of writing chore whatsoever that you'll encounter on a daily basis. Yeah. You're going to feel pain. A lot of pain. Now, if you're a masochist and you love feeling pain, if you hate yourself... This is the ideal pen for you. Other small issue, I've only seen these pens in blue ink. And indeed, the one that comes on the Swiss card light, and I suspect all of the different Victorinox cards, blue ink. 
Yeah, I do have a Victorinox compact model folding knife. It also has this very same pen feature and again, blue ink. So that's another thing. I have noticed that in some places, especially on the job, if you need to use a pen, they do emphasize black ink. One example, I know for a fact that Numerous police departments in America, including NYPD, if you are a police officer, black ink only. So this, depending on your job, depending on the circumstances, blue ink, yeah, that's no good. But that's extremely minor compared to how incredibly sharp that little gray tab is. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but this is, I mean, you could realistically probably cut someone with this. It, it is just ridiculously sharp, and I don't think it needs to be. But okay, you do have a pen feature, and you'll definitely want to use it as only an emergency pen. Underneath that... Yeah, I know I'm going to have problems getting this out. You have a pin, a very useful pin. This is great for removing particularly thin slivers that a pair of tweezers just won't be able to grab onto. Now, this pin... I don't know if you can tell, but it's not completely straight. There's a little bit of a bend in the middle, and I don't think it's coming up on my camera, but it's not 100% straight. I suspect the reason for that is so that when you insert it inside the Swiss card, it doesn't accidentally fall out. Because if it has a bit of a bend to it, there's going to be some resistance in the slot that'll keep it from falling out. But it's a pin. It works reliably. Down here, tweezers. Excellent Victorinox tweezers. Absolutely excellent. Yes, these are the same size of tweezers that you'll find on a Victorinox Classic SD. They just work very well. No surprises there. Fantastic tweezers. Below that, on this side, we have a very small magnifier. It's 5x magnification or five times magnification, I should say. Now, as usual, guys, specs in the description box below. Check that out when the video is over. It's very useful, I mean, especially for reading small print, very useful indeed. But the size is the problem. That is a very small-sized magnifier. I mean, I wish it was bigger, but then again, they'd probably have to remove one or two tools in order to make the magnifier bigger. It does work, but the letters are going to be bunched up when you're trying to read whatever it says, and you will have to move this card to the right in order to read what's written. Unless you're looking at one specific letter of the alphabet or one specific tiny word. But yeah, very effective, but a little small, a little small. All right, starting on the right side, we have this little indentation and you just push on that and out pops a tiny fixed blade knife. When you insert this 
into the tool, keep in mind, you have to insert it edge up. It goes in edge up. Victorinox calls this a letter opener, and you can use it as such. My experience, though, blade-shaped letter openers tend to be quite a bit longer, and they don't have cutting edges at all. This does. I'm sorry, this is not a letter opener, despite what Victorinox calls it. This is a very small, very tiny, useful fixed blade knife. It's definitely wider than what you'll typically get on a Victorinox Classic SD. And this rather short, stubby handle, it can be a bit difficult to use. If I'm honest, I do prefer the narrower blade on my classic SD because the handle is much better to hold on to. It's going to be thicker and let me just show you. The handle's going to be quite a bit thicker and as you can see quite a bit longer. So in terms of any cutting chore at least those that don't require a blade that locks into place, this is going to be a better option if you need a small knife. This is still good, but it's not ideal. That very thin handle, short, stubby, yeah, it, it can be difficult depending on the cutting task, to get a good grip on this. And that's unfortunate. Yeah. You do have to be careful, because as you can see, it is a little easy for your fingers to slip onto the cutting edge. So, yeah. Can you use it as a letter opener? Well, yes, but it's not ideal. And this is definitely a knife. Let's just put that back in. And it does slide in securely. None of these tools are going to fall out. The tolerances are very tight. Now, if you use this tool or the various tools inside of the plastic housing a lot over several years, is it possible? that they'll loosen up? Yes. But when you receive it, everything's good and tight, and mild use does not loosen up any of the tools. Below the knife, we have a rather interesting pair of spring-loaded scissors. Now, Again, this is typical of what you'll find on a Victorinox Classic SD. But because those scissors fold out and they rely on the handle, they don't have this portion down here on the Classic SD. With my fingers, yeah, there's, there's no way I can comfortably get any of my fingers inside this scissor hole. Women who have smaller, thinner, narrower fingers, depending on the finger, probably no problem getting it in there. Mine, um... They fit, but it's not even remotely comfortable, and it feels awkward. For me, it's just easier to ra wrap one or two fingers here, ignore the hole, and cut like this. And, hey, 
These are Victorinox spring-loaded scissors, so they are going to be excellent. No surprises here. Absolutely excellent. Mm -hmm. Let's just get that back in there. Now, below that, you have this thing. That is not a tool that comes out of this ruby casing. What that is, the black stuff, that is a switch and some black plastic that holds the button cell battery that you can clearly see. And on the underside, there it is. There's the switch. And right over here, yep, there's the tiny LED. So the way this works is you push forward and the LED switches on. Push back, it turns off. The LED, you might notice my camera is not adjusting for the output. There is a reason for that. Unfortunately, you, you don't get a very bright, powerful light at all. This is useful for looking at a menu in a darkened restaurant. This is useful for late at night, you've got your key out, standing outside a door, shine this on the doorknob to see exactly where the key fits. That's about it. It's not very bright at all. And that's why my camera is not adjusting for the output. Um, Honestly, if you need a very bright flashlight, this is not it. If you need a backup light to your primary light, no, no. This is best as a third light. This is best for very limited tasks, very limited ones. Also, the good news, this battery is replaceable. The way this works is you take your fingernail, and yes, I know I don't have much of one. I'm a guy. But you take your fingernail, you come up front, and then you lift this up and out. Up and out. This entire black housing comes out. Now be careful because the battery will practically immediately fall out when you pull this out. So be careful. But you can definitely change the battery. And down here, the very last tool, this is a flat two-dimensional four-way screwdriver set. One Two, there's your Phillips, bigger Phillips, three, four. Yep. This particular tool, not marked Victorinox, used to be really popular in the 1940s. You'd have this exact same looking tool with a hole cut in it, and men would sometimes carry this around on their keychain. It wasn't branded Victorinox, but it used to be a popular tool back in the 1940s. It is somewhat useful, although as you can see, being flat, two-dimensional, and small, it is a bit limited. So, any problems or issues with this tool? Yes, a lot of jurisdictions ban fixed blade knives. That is definitely fixed blade. You might be thinking, well, that's ridiculous. 
And you're right, it is ridiculous, but in a lot of jurisdictions, they do not make a distinction between this fixed blade or this one. So you could get into legal trouble. That is a possibility. If a police officer finds it on you, so please be careful. Who is this for? Well, this is for someone who wants a flat credit card sized nice set of tools that they can carry in their wallet. This works really well for that. I will say, though, that besides the possibility of getting into legal hot water because of the tiny fixed blade knife, yes, it is tiny, but it's still a fixed blade. So watch out for that. Check your local laws. Other than the issue with the fixed blade knife, the other issue is price. This thing varies wildly from as little as $25 to as much as just over 50 So, yeah, shop around. If you can find this for around $35, I'd say go for it. But overall, if you want a set of Swiss Army knife tools and features in something the size of a credit card that you can keep in your wallet for urban use, this is a really good one. Based on that, it gets a conditional recommendation. All right, guys, that's it for today. Please continue to stay safe out there. I'll see you soon.